Sorry about that, guys. I just had to get this little one all nice and comfortable in her little cat house. But yeah, as I was picking up on, um, picking up, sorry, where I left off with this Hierophant energy, but, you know, a lot of you who resonate with the Divine Masculine energy, um, you're being pushed to start your own business and not waste time on that. A lot of you have developed um, a lot of vital skills with the variety of jobs that you've done over time to the point where the only thing left for you to do is to be your own boss and and the comment as well about having impeccable customer service skills i feel like the reason you are meant to be entrepreneurs is because you're meant to lead other people you're meant to be the kind of entrepreneur or the kind of business owner or the type of manager or supervisor that are meant to uplift other people teach them what you know and um, help them find their way okay so i'm getting like a strong message that there's a lot of divine masculines in the collective who need to start running their own businesses so that they can also hire younger men um, to, to work for them and to teach them and to take them under their wing type of thing okay um, and i feel that many masculines are bumping heads in a lot of karmic situations that they're in particularly if their karmic situation is a work situation or their job or maybe the line of work that they're in or the type of career that they're in is just not fulfilling so it really takes away from a lot of the sexual energy um, a lot of the chemistry and attraction that you two should be engaging in so that you give each other that exchange to continue to be motivated on this journey but if they they need to make some changes around the jobs that they're in right now okay and these are some of the things that they want you to know that they're doing right now. Um, I have the erotic fantasy tarot here as well. And just because I'm talking about this message, um, I do see the hanged man in this deck as well popping up. Okay. And I think that many masculines are silent right now and things are serious. They're not silent right now, divine feminine, because they're thinking romantically about this connection. They're not silent because there is karmic drama going on. No, they're silent because they are working hard and it racks their entire brain to know that a lot of the divine feminine's energy is the influence behind them getting a lot more serious and a lot more mature. Um, but it's also very exciting for them at this time because the Hierophant energy mixed with the hanged man here you know, it tells me this is a masculine who's maturing. He's getting really serious about settling down, okay? He might have led the bachelor lifestyle before. Um, he might have been very in and out or just very hard to, to ground, okay? And the again, because the Hierophant is Taurus energy, um, they're learning that very nature of like a Taurus person who is very loyal and patient and they're they're the turtle in the race um with the hare and the the tortoise okay the the taurus energy or the hierophant it's like being methodical and strategic in what it is we're doing and it might take you a long time to get where it is you're going um, but at this point i feel like many masculines are putting their priorities in the check so if they are mia right now divine feminine and they're busy working it will reflect in your reality as you're you're just caught up you're busier than ever um, you're getting messages about expanding your spiritual gifts or it could be that you're getting messages about expanding your talents going back to school learning more doing a course um, again I shared a community post a little while back that talked about many of you investing in a small project that will help to um, create something on the side for yourself where passive income is now at play in your life okay attracting money where you don't even have to think about how it is you need to do it it's like you put out one project and that one project ends up attracting passive income for lifetime like for a lifetime you know and whether this is putting out a book a blog um, you know some type of podcast or a piece of work um, that basically helps to either uplift or teach others something in some way and it ends up expanding and expanding and expanding okay so many feminines are focused on doing that while many masculines are more action oriented in the 
physical world out there many feminines will kind of sit back and receive with that passive income um, that i mentioned and a lot of masculines right now feel a lot of purpose in and working for it okay i think that a lot of you have dealt with masculines who have been very privileged who have had a lot of things handed to them and ever since meeting you divine feminine you have sent them on this path to wanting to work for things themselves to earn it themselves to not rely on anybody else okay and that's been um a big eye opener in terms of the uh attraction to you you're definitely the type of person that they want to align themselves with because what i get to is that um a lot of masculines are watching you divine feminine and they see you as like this queen of wands energy like you're a go-getter um you don't take no for an answer you make things make things happen out of thin air like you're just constantly overflowing with ideas but the thing is is that you're not only overflowing with ideas but you're acting on them and that's where he's felt like he's been lacking is like the action part of it he's had a, a lot of ideas about initiating changes um, but just watching you i feel like he is um getting the idea you know it's not just about sitting around and fantasizing about it you know, and I think that many people have that misconception about manifestation as they think that it's just sitting there wishing, hoping, and praying when really manifestation is actually having the faith and courage to talk freely and openly about what it is you want to attract into your life and then going out there and taking the action steps to do it because you know that now that you've pinpointed exactly what it is you want, when you go to take the action to manifest it, things will work out fruitfully you will meet the people you need to meet you will have the resources you need to have when you need to make certain moves so trust in that okay if you can't trust in that then you're not going to be open to ask for it through uh, prayer or affirmation or manifestation okay so the prince of summer is coming up here romantic captivating dramatic flirtatious i feel like they are returning back to this energy simply because they're starting to awaken here with all of this deep knowledge thinking about things from a different perspective especially when it comes to like being their own boss and, and realizing like wait a second i could just take all of these skills that i have and open up my own company for example you know so many of them are busy looking into these types of things learning how to register a business learning how to register for like a tax number things like that um and it's causing them to get into this flirtatious energy where they're thinking about the divine feminine they're thinking about being open and honest with her and i feel like these are all things that they can't say over a screen so they're not going to be calling you they're not going to be messaging you immaturely over instagram or whatsapp or like whatever the case is they're going to wait to and do their thing and then they're going to want to meet with you in person and a lot of this energy is coming back here from the the knight of cups here or the prince of summer here falling in love suddenly being swept off your feet the need to stay grounded during a very emotional experience i feel that many of them are experiencing a lot of abundance a lot of awakenings the thing is is that many of these masculines know that they can take action and they can make shit happen in the physical world but when they're separate from their divine feminine and they feel a loss and they feel lack and they miss you they miss connecting with you sexually intimately the ideas can't flow they can execute but they can't execute without the ideas, without the motivation, without the inspiration, okay? And the Divine Feminine is their muse. So, whew, sorry guys, I was super passionate. <laughs> what I'm going to do is um, use the tarot of sexual magic right now, okay? All right, that just slipped right out, so we'll keep these cards and roll with it. Let me make sure nothing here is too crazy for YouTube. Okay, no, we're good. So we have the Queen of Cups coming up, and this is how he sees you right now, Divine Feminine. Um, I think that he looks up to you. He admires you a lot. Um, he's seen you go through, again, the changes with all of those fall leaves in the background, and you are continuously like this phoenix that rises from the ashes. And one thing with the Queen of Cups energy that I get, Divine Feminine, is that one thing that your masculine finds very attractive about you is your ability to forgive and to continue to love him and continue to root for him and think about him and pray for him and it's like no matter how much you guys go through when your masculine feels your energy come back around again this is what he's thinking she's there with me for life like that's why a lot of their karmic situations are breaking down right now because the divine feminine is consistently showing up um, a lot of you have taken space, you have 
learned to be independent you've learned to detach but again as the divine feminine you can't help but return back to that place of unconditional love for your divine masculine and for them it speaks volumes about loyalty things that the emperor prides themselves on okay and so naturally he's wanting his empress we have the ace of cups coming up as well along with the queen of cups here and this tells me that this is a masculine again that's maturing the hierophant energy coming through pushing him into the king of pentacles energy he wants to be reliable for you divine feminine he wants to be someone that you can count on but that energy is not going to come through unless he's got his pentacles on the up and up he wants to provide for you many of these masculines want to make up for lost times by indulging you in things even though this queen of cups the last thing she wants is like material things in order to show her love he doesn't care <laughs> he doesn't care because on top of showering you with material wealth you know he wants to get down on his knees and and make love to you at the same time do you know what i mean he wants to take you on a fancy vacation and kiss you from head to toe while you guys are sitting on the beach type of thing you know but it's his like that's just how he is you know and we have the justice card here coming through because of the divine feminine's patience loyalty is what i get with this justice card again i keep getting that message a lot of these divine masculines value your loyalty divine feminine and that's why they will continuously experience these cycles with you and they will always come back with an offer the magic of the black chicken there in the background here it symbolizes a lot of the synchronicity that the masculines have had the synchronicity has forced them to have a lot of these flashbacks of when they connected with the divine feminine they are ho holding on to a lot of words and conversation that you guys have had together and they're having such empathy and sympathy for you along this path they know that things haven't been easy for you divine feminine and on top of that to continue to show them loyal loyalty and that unconditional love it's like they're heart is is just burning to be honest with you but again it's not going to happen through a screen they don't want to connect with you to a, through a screen these masculines are maturing to the point where they are going to physically show up in your reality and i think that for many of the divine feminines at this point because this justice card is making an appearance here you guys aren't going to have it any other way you guys aren't going to be answering instagram messages you guys are going to be answering whatsapp messages you guys aren't going to be answering phone calls text messages um, because again, many of you have experienced this journey for what it is. You're focused on what it is you want. And because you're so focused on what it is you want, Divine Feminine, it's making this masculine come towards you with that same integrity. Okay? I hope you guys have enjoyed this short little reading. I love you guys. Take care and I'll catch you in the next one. All right? Bye.